Hallo, ik is Iti. Welkom bij mijn kanaal Waar ons als saam doen. In hierdie video leer ik veel al die belangrijke Afrikaanse badkamerwoorden schat. Ik ga een badkamer toe. That is the phrase you'll use in polite company when you want to indicate that you are going to the bathroom for some other reason, most likely to use the toilet, but you're not going to come out and say outright to the people, I'm going to use the toilet. That's something you do when you are with real close relatives or close friends and you can be completely informal. But to err on the side of caution, use the phrase, ek gaan badkamer toe. Everyone knows what that implies without being too explicit. When you reach the bathroom, you enter the bathroom through the badkamer deur, the bathroom door. You will see badkamer deur is one word. In Afrikaans, we form a composite noun and it becomes it's one word. So in English, you'll see bathroom door, two separate words. But in Afrikaans, with something like this, you'll refer to the door that is the bathrooms and it becomes badkamer deur, one word. The word for door in Afrikaans is deur um, and you get all kinds of different doors. And it'll always be one word. So you have your bedroom door, which in English is two separate words, but in Afrikaans, it's one word, kamer deur. And then badkamer deur, voor deur, which is your front door, also just one word. We'll take a look at the bathroom as a whole first. So in this picture, you see I've got the entire bathroom, like an overview and I'm going to give you the main words um, of the larger things in a bathroom that you would generally find in a bathroom. And then we'll move on and I'll break it down for you. Um, and I'll give you the little bit more intricate words um, and look at the smaller objects in a bathroom. All right, so let's start at the top of the picture with badkamer fenster, bathroom window. And this is the same thing I spoke about in the previous clip where it's a composite word. In Afrikaans we call the saamgestelde woord. It's one word. Um, so in English you'll have bathroom window, two separate words. But in Afrikaans that becomes badkamerfenster, one word. And you can always just refer to it as fenster, which is just the word for a window in general. Um, and then we have stort, shower. Um, badkamer muur, bathroom wall, and then teels, teels, which is tiles, then toilet, spelt exactly the same, just pronounced differently, which is toilet, then we have badkamer mat, the bathroom mat or the bathroom carpet, that's just lying in the middle of nowhere in the bathroom, it's not specifically for the bath, it's not specifically for the toilet, that's just badkamer mat. And then we have badkamer vloer, which is your bathroom floor. And then lastly, we have bad, which is a bath. Let's move on to everything toilet. Now, uh, in the picture you'll see on the left, there are two words relating to toilet paper. The one is toilet roll, which is the roll of toilet paper. And then there's the one that is toilet papier. Toilet paper. Right, so, demonstration. <laughs> the whole thing is toilet roll. And when you're referring to the paper, that is toilet papier. Okay, and then we have toilet papier hauer, which is the case, or it depends because it differs some Toilet paper rolls are in in a case, some is on a little thing, um, but that's just the toilet roll holder. So whatever you place it in or on, um, that's what toilet papier hauer refers to. Then we come to the toilet itself. Now, from the top, we have toilet daxel, which is the lid of the toilet. Then we have toilet sitplak, which is the toilet seat. Then toilet bak, which is the toilet bowl. And then to the right of the toilet, you'll see there's a 
toilet borso, which is the toilet brush to clean the toilet. And then on the floor, if you want to be specific about the mat, then this is a toilet mat, a mat for the toilet, a toilet mat. Right, in this picture we have the smaller details of a shower amongst other things. So this is a shower and then we have at the, in the shower at the top the shower head where the water comes out. That is referred to as stortkop, the shower head. And then the door of the shower or the shower door is stortdur. And if you have a mat on the floor, which I haven't, I haven't given in this picture, but if you have a mat on the floor for specifically the shower, then that would be stork mat, shower mat. Um, right, and then we look at the mirror, which is spiel, spiel, um, like teal, spiel. Um, then we have the wash basin or the sink. Um, that is wasbak. Now, <clears throat> if you want to be specific, you can say badkamer wasbak, which means the bathroom sink or the bathroom wash basin. Because then you get the kitchen sink as well, which is kombais wasbak. Um, so, but it's still, it's always one word. But you don't have to be that specific. You can just say wasbak um, or die wasbak in die badkamer, which is the um, sink in the bathroom um, and then we look at the tap or the faucet of the wash basin which is kran and if you want to be specific again you can add the word badkamer to the front of kran badkamer kran if you want to be very specific and say that's the bathroom tap <clears throat> or that is the bath tap then bat kran <laughs> or wasbak kran which is the sink tap, um, but you can all you can also just say kran, just kran, um, and that is the tap or the faucet. Okay, so the bath. I'm a shower person myself, but some people prefer a, a tub or a bath. Um, right, so I haven't given all of the names or all of the different bath foam and things that you can put in the bath. I only gave one for bath oil, which is butt oily. Um, yeah, for now, I think that is as detailed as I want to go. Um, so, but willy. Um, but if you want to talk about bath salts, then but soaked is another option. But soaked, one word, is bath salts. Um, right. And then we look at this tub, which is but. So, bath or tub, but in Afrikaans. And then... Um, this specific bath has bubbles. So this is a bubble bath or a foam bath. In Afrikaans, we say skein bath. Um, the word for bubble in Afrikaans is borrel. But the word borrel bat means a jacuzzi. So the Afrikaans word borrel bat is not a bubble bath that you take in the comfort of your home. Um, it is borrel bat is a jacuzzi. And scone butt is the word in Afrikaans for a foam bath or a bubble bath in your house that you take with a lot of foam. Um, and then we have butt mat, which is the bath or the tub mat, bath mat. Um, and then at the bottom there, uh, you'll see it's sip, sip, which is the word for soap. And I've given both examples and you have the hand soap that you get in a dispenser next to the wash basin or you've got the bar of soap. Um, both of those are just sip. Handuk. Okay, so towel. One towel, handuk. Many towels, handuka. And then you have the towel rail that the towels hang from um, in the bathroom. And that is handuk reeling, handuk reeling, one word. Then we have at the bottom there, toothpaste, tande pasta, tande pasta. And then we also have the toothbrush, which is tande borso, tande borso. Conditioner and shampoo.
Now the one for shampoo is still one that maybe I use in Afrikaans. So shampoo, shampoo is the um, Afrikaans word for shampoo. But then for conditioner, it's opknapper, opknapper, which I never use. Um, <laughs> well, we recently spoke to a hairdresser and she said, or a hairstylist, and she said, oh no, the word, the word for conditioner in Afrikaans is opknapper. Um, but that is not a word that I ever use. Some people might, but I think in general we just go with conditioner. Um, but opknapper, that's the correct Afrikaans word. Um, and lastly, we've got at the bottom there, stort spawns. Stort spawns, which is that bath or shower scrunchie or um, shower puff or shower sponge, um, whatever you want to call it. But in Afrikaans, that's a stort spawns. Badkamer lich ceiling light or bathroom ceiling light badkamer lig and then down at the bottom we have skeermes skeermes which is the word for razor and then we also have a uh, skeer room skeer room which is shaving cream um and i mean i use it for shaving gel as well so a skeer room skeer room before we get to the few basic um, bathroom related present tense sentences that you can use in connection with bathroom discussion. Um, I haven't given all of the vocabulary in this video that you may or may not find in a bathroom. Things like um, face wash, um, which is gesicht was middel, um, things like hairbrush, um, hair ties, all the makeup words, I haven't given any of that in this video because a lot of those things you find in a bedroom and in other places. And I think that is a bit too much detail for one video. So I've tried to give you all of the important bathroom vocabulary, um, the basic and important bathroom vocabulary that you will probably use in conversation quite often. Right, so after that said, let's move on to the short sentences. A paar nuttige badkamersinne. First one, ek borsel my tande. That means both I brush my teeth and I am brushing my teeth. Afrikaans does not have a dedicated continuous tense. So we use that, ek borsel my tande, for both the straightforward present as well as the present continuous tense. And the next one, ek was my gesig. I wash my face or I am washing my face. Then, ek stort, which is short and sweet, saying, I am taking a shower in English. But in Afrikaans, you can just say, ek stort. Then, ek is op die toilet, which means, I'm on the toilet. And then, ek was my hare, I wash my hair, or I am washing my hair. And lastly, ek bat, which again is, I am taking a bath. Thank you for joining me in this video. Um, I hope to make quite a few more vocabulary videos, so watch this channel, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, mooi dag vir julle, tot ziens!